Links to everything will be in the description below. The first step that we need to do to get our dash ability to work is we need to go to our scripts folder inside our abilities folder and make a new script called ability dash. This is going to inherit from the ability script. So I replaced the mono behavior here with ability. Just looking at the ability script real quick. We made this in the last video, but just in case you didn't see it, all these variables are protected, meaning that only this script or its children that inherit from it can access it. I've got ability time, which is used internally for our cooldown timer. I've got duration, which is how long the ability lasts cooldown, how often you can use it. Description, this is a developer uh, note, essentially what this ability does. And then I've got three game objects that will hold particle effects for when you use the ability, when the ability hits something, and then when the ability ends. So for our ability script, the first thing that we're going to need is any unique variables to this ability. The unique variable that we're going to need is our buff because we want to increase our speed by a certain amount. We are also going to need a private float buff amount. This is going to be used to convert our buff into a percentage. So we can type in 30 and it will mean that we'll get a 30% speed buff. In our start function, we need to get a reference to our player and do the math for our buff amount to convert it to a percent. You can notice here, player is underscored because we do not have a variable that exists for it. You can do control period on windows and hit generate variable field and it will generate it for you. On Mac, I believe it is option enter. The next step is to set it up in our update. When we have the cooldown and when we press the appropriate key, our ability effect happens. The way this works is this part just asks, do we press the space key? And is the current time greater than our ability time? This is just a cooldown system. I've done a video on this, so I'll link it in the top right. Effectively, the way it works is whenever our, our ability time comes up, we do our ability effect, then we set our next ability time equal to our current time plus our cooldown. So effectively, every cooldown, you have the opportunity to do this, to do this ability. You also have to be pressing the space button in order for it to happen. Next, we need to do our ability effect. So just like before, I can do control period here and hit enter, and it'll generate a function here. It'll say throw not implemented exception. What this is, for an auto generated function, it tells you, hey, you haven't put any code here. So if I press play and ran this, I would get an error telling you that. What we wanna do here is we want to do some functions. We're going to go to our player movement script and buff our speed. And then we're gonna invoke our reset in our duration to reset our speed back to the, to the default. That function will look like this right here. And then we just need to plug these into our player movement script. So I'm gonna go over to my player movement script. I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom and we are going to put in these two functions. One buff speeds, it reads in an amount and just sets our speed equal to our speed time their amount. The other one resets it, same deal, reads in an amount and sets it equal to speed divided by amount. So this will just put it back to where it was before. As you notice, once those are plugged in, all these errors go away. So I'm gonna make sure to save my script, go back to Unity, select my player and attach my script to it and scroll down here. I'm going to attach my ability dash. We'll set our duration to something short. The way I like to do these is have a very short duration and a very high buff amount. So I'm going to do 0.25 of a second and I'm going to do 500 for my buff amount and we'll put it on a one second cooldown. And we can just call this dash ability. The purpose of a note like this is for if you have multiple people working on your pro project. So if you have like an artist or someone who doesn't mess with the code, they will tell them like tips and tricks of how to use the code correctly. So you can see here, if I move in a direction and hit the space key, I dash forward. Now right now I'm dashing way too far, so I will have to tweak these values to get it to what I like. I have found a value that I like. I went with 0.1 seconds for the duration and 300 for the amount. So 300% speed boost. And you can see, no matter which direction I'm moving in, I can apply my boost. I can even, if I'm quick enough, boost and move in two directions. That might be something you would like to change. I kind of like it. It adds some more mobility to the player. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and comment with any questions you have. And I will see you in the next one.